As the coronavirus has quickly spread across the world, so too has the use of face masks. And since the start of the pandemic, there have been differing recommendations on who should and shouldn't be wearing them. So we're asking the experts and taking a deep dive into the science behind a key question. How effective is a mask at stopping the spread of a virus? Normally, when you think about disease outbreaks, I think in the, in the mind of most humans, the first thing that they want to do to protect themselves is have a mask. We do believe that surgical masks are effective for healthcare workers. I think where there's still been some debate is whether face masks work for anybody else. It's kind of a confusing message. In laboratory settings, scientists have shown that masks can be very effective. Surgical masks can both reduce the number of virus particles that can reach the respiratory system, and they reduce the amount of virus a sick person can spread through coughing and sneezing. In one experiment related to the flu, researchers found that when a sick person wore a surgical mask, there was nearly complete elimination of large droplets spray. In early April, a similar study found that masks limited the spread of not just the flu, but other viruses linked to the common cold as well. But the implications for now for coronavirus are that if the mask was working in people with flu or with seasonal coronavirus, most likely it would also do some good if people who are sick with COVID-19 wear the mask because it would also catch the virus and stop it from getting out into the environment. Wouldn't necessarily catch everything, but it's better to at least catch something than not catch anything. So the mask was doing good. For months, guidance from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control said only people with noticeable symptoms, their caretakers and healthcare workers, should wear masks. But what experts know about the virus and how it can be transmitted has been changing. And the thinking on masks has changed with it. As the pandemic evolves, so does the evidence and so does our advice. We learn more every week. I think for U.S. CDC, perhaps it's the recognition that people can spread infection before their symptoms appear. So if we can have a way to reduce that from happening by making it more acceptable to wear masks in the community, then I think that may have a little bit of an effect. But don't think that wearing a mask will always protect you, especially if you don't wear it properly. There are individuals who might wear a mask, and because they have the mask on, they're less likely to wash their hands, but they're also more likely to get infected because what they have on their hands is now touching their face because they're moving the mask around. There's also practical limits of everyone buying a mask. During a pandemic, experts estimate healthcare systems in the U.S. will need 3.5 billion masks, quite a bit more than the national stockpile of about 42 million. And if every person in the U.S. were to wear one mask each day, we'd need a supply nearing 10 billion for just one month. I think what it really comes down to, at least in the U.S. right now, is that the driving factor is a shortage of these masks. And when there's a shortage, we really have to make sure that the people that need them and the places where they're effective are getting the, the tools that they need to be able to fight this epidemic. Which is why experts like Dr. Tom Frieden, the former director of the CDC, say that medical grade masks must be prioritized for those on the front lines. The most important use of masks is for our healthcare workers. That will protect them so they're there for us, and it will protect other patients as well, preventing them from getting infected. Most surgical masks are only designed to be used once, but as stockpiles dwindle or are depleted altogether, frontline health workers, and now the wider public, have been forced to reuse or create their own makeshift masks from other materials. There's a lot of questions about cloth masks. What materials would be better? What design would be better in terms of the shape? How long could we wear a cloth mask for before we need to change it? How should we best disinfect it? I think all of these questions, we really need some very quick evidence. When surgical face masks aren't available, a makeshift one may be better than nothing, especially if you're showing symptoms. But most importantly, if you're sick, don't go out. Don't expose others. Even if you're only mildly sick, your illness may kill somebody else. So you really have to take care. 